So we're going to do a teardown and SSD replacement of the Steam Deck here. So let's not waste any time. Let's get right to it. I'm going to do this in the case I have here, just so that the sticks are not resting on the floor. So let's get into it. It's a pretty simple process. Uh, make sure you turn off your Steam Deck and make sure you take out the SD card because you will lose your SD card. When I say lose, I mean, it'll be dead. Okay, let's not waste any time. Let's get into it. A few screws around here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws on the outside. Um, pretty easy to get into. Now let's get to it. All right, so we have all of the outside screws out. Let's zoom in a bit. We have all of the eight exterior screws out. Now you're gonna need a pry tool. Um, you can use the guitar pick style or this type of pry tool here. You just need something to get in between the case to separate it. So let's see here. Get that open. Just want to find a crevice here to get it in. All right. Okay, so once you get that, you're gonna go all the way around. Make sure you're getting all of the crevices and creases and stuff like that. This one might come in handy. Just gonna go all the way around the deck, get all the connection points, and that sound is not that sound is not breaking. That sound is just the connection. So you're gonna take this up, and now here we have the back plate in all of its glory. Now we are in the steam deck. Okay, so. Now, a few things you would notice. We have the battery here, the fan here. The SSD is actually under this shield right here. 
and there is three more screws you want to uh, remove to get this shield off. So there's a screw here, a screw here, and then another screw over the other side. So you just take these screws out here, and then we'll be able to get this shield off. And then we're gonna have to unplug the battery as well. And then we'll be in. Not a very difficult process. Uh, there's a few screws and you're in. So we have these screws off right here. Once you get these screws off, you wanna make sure that you have the third screw off because that's going to um, sort of mess you up if you don't have that third screw off. So what you wanna do is you wanna look under here, under this little foil looking tape. And there is a hidden screw in there. There's a hidden screw right there under this tape that you want to take that tape up and get that screw because if not, you're gonna have a bad time. Okay, set it to the side. Now you're ready to take this shield off. Take the shield up. You wanna be careful because there may be some components in the way. You don't wanna catch any of the antennas or any of the cables. Now we have, this is the uh, battery clip. You just wanna take that battery clip out. Um, you don't want any power um, coming into the system while you're doing this. So let's pull that battery clip out, that battery connector. And now you're almost on your way. Here is the SSD here. Let's just get that screw out. It's just one screw holding it in. Unscrew the SSD screw. Set that to the side. And you will see that it kind of like pops up. It's like spring loaded in a way. So then you just pull that out of the slot there. And here is the SSD. You'll notice this silver piece that is um, like a silver heat shield that is on the SSD. You want to keep that, set it to the side. You're going to need that. Here is the SSD. This is a one terabyte SSD. I actually upgraded it. But for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to put the original 256 gigabyte SSD back inside. So give me one second to grab that. Okay, here is the original 256 gigabyte SSD that was in the Steam Deck. Now what you wanna do is you wanna put that shield back on, put that shield back on the SSD. You have that shield on there and then place it back into the socket. Be careful not to damage the pins, just slot that in there. It should go in without any um, sort of hesitation and now you are on your way to getting it back in. Screw in the SSD. Screw in the SSD. Remember to reconnect the battery. Reconnect the battery. And at this point, what I would suggest is just turn the Steam Deck on to make sure it's working. Just turn it on to make sure it's working because you don't want to put it back together if it's not actually working. Um, that would kind of be unfortunate. So let's see if we can turn this on here. I saw the light. Okay. So it's working. That's good to know.
okay, it is working. This SSD hasn't been in my Steam Deck for a couple months now, so it may need some updates, maybe because this is an old SSD. It's interesting to see the, the games that I last played on this SSD. Like you can see, I have to re-log in, but it works. Just put back all the screws where they go and do the opposite. And there you go. That's how to um, open up and replace the SSD on the Steam Deck. I'm actually going to put back in the one terabyte. Um, this was just a demonstration, but uh, you get the point. Anyway, enjoy your Steam Deck and happy gaming.